Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Rosie Baby. It's your girl Rosie Baby, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. You back. You back like I never left. As you guys could tell by the title and everything else in between today, I will be telling you guys about some tips, maybe like five to um ten tips to keep in mind when you are working or starting to work at Amazon. People were asking me like what to do, what type of things to wear and stuff like that. So I came up with a few tips to let you guys know that if this is your first time that you ever landed on this channel, you don't even know you landed here. Please take a second to check out my other videos. You just might like me enough to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, to get it started, when you're first starting to work at Amazon, keep in mind that your hours might vary. You do not have um, the same schedule every day. With that being said, like always have a backup plan. Like if you got to pick up your kid at three o'clock, don't expect to come out at two o'clock on a dot like some days your packages might be delayed some days like it's something always bound to happen always have a backup plan that's the number one tip i could give you because people be like oh i work a six to two no you probably work a six to four or a six to one or a six to twelve depending on how your packages is running that day so and another thing was to stay hydrated always have a water bottle always have a gallon of water because you're running in and out the van with that being said you need hydration like water something you need something to keep yourself hydrated because going in and out that van is no joke and to do it five days a week or four days a week or seven days a week every day that's like that's out of pocket so guys always keep water and a backup plan always have a backup plan literally do not um do not lean on amazon to have a set schedule because your schedules vary all the time um another tip is to buy comfortable shoes don't th th look, i can't even speak y'all for real don't think you're gonna go to amazon with the cleanest pair of shoes like don't wear your nice shoes to work i feel like that's common knowledge but some people would really try to do that and no don't do that because you're gonna be especially winter time you're gonna be stepping in snow you're gonna like always have like the you know the shoes you don't really care for to work let them be comfortable like that's really all i gotta say wear comfortable shoes bro you're in and out that van like in and out the van when i was working there i literally had the the harachis and i love those shoes only because they were comfortable on my feet and they allowed me to maneuver like they weren't heavy they like literally is a perfect fit for that type of job well for me because i was comfortable running in and out the van so i feel like that was a great shoes wear comfortable shoes whether like it could be you could wear those shoes every day as long as your feet is comfortable and you don't want your feet to be work um I'm really having trouble speaking. You don't want your feet to be hurting after working eight hours. The less problems, the less problems. So if you gotta go outside, buy some Walmart comfortable shoes, go get some Walmart comfortable shoes because you're gonna need that. Another tip is to always be alert. When you're working for Amazon, always be alert because anything at any moment can always happen. And I'm speaking specifically for delivering. Um, You have to be alert. In a van, you have to be alert because um winter time trees be falling the road is is really sliding like when you're getting out the van you can literally slide your way to the next block so you always have to be alert and i always have to be alert in a sense of safety as well because people be weird outside they be doing weird stuff saying weird things and nobody got time for that so you always have to remain alert and be diligent like move with caution bro like you always gotta stay on your ten toe get stay ready so you don't have to get ready type vibe like you really gotta be on it because people be doing weird stuff they be going in people vans stealing them so when i used to do deliveries i literally locked the van with every delivery like i don't care if i'm walking up the block i'll do my best to lock the van especially unless i don't see nobody in sight but if i'm somewhere where it's like a crowded area and there's a lot of people just walking by cars going by i lock the van because people just be going in there and stealing vans and sometimes i'll be leaving my bag in there my ids and stuff and nobody got time to be going to dmv to replace id because you want to be a stealer you want to be a thief no you always got to stay alert people do weird stuff if they allow you to try to carry a taser if they allow you to try to carry a pepper spray because why not it's just you know another way of, of ensuring safety measures 
always make sure to carry a charger always make sure that your phone is charged even though some places you might not get service it's better to have a charged phone than a dead phone another tip would be to literally have snacks like have snacks for days have snacks for weeks months years decades have snacks for centuries bro i kid you not have snacks because Working for eight hours, you're going to lose track, especially if you're working like boom, 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 bam, bam. You're going to lose track of time. Therefore, you're not going to really stop to like have a full meal. But if you are making sure that your body is getting the nutrients that it needs throughout the day, at least you're doing that for your body. So have snacks when you make a stop, when you're under a light. Literally, I be eating. I be eating. I pull over and eat. I don't play. If I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And once you're hungry, you can't really focus. And you can't really give it your all. So have something to munch on, bro. Because that's like, that's what it is. Have, have snacks. Have something to munch on. And if you're bringing food, I would consider um, buying those bags. That's like a heating bag where you can leave the food in those bags. Um, and you could even stop at like at a 7-eleven and ask them very nicely hi how are you hello da -da -da. can you please heat up my food type vibe and some of them be nice enough to heat up the food for you but i would consider buying a heating bag because those are really really um what's the word what's the word that i'm looking for the word is flirting around here and i can't i can't they're really comfortable i guess that's the word so yeah if you guys want more tips i would i would literally comment them in the comments below or if you have a specific questions i'm able to answer it um but right now that's really all i got for you guys um i kept seeing comments about it so i just wanted to inform you guys i'm but yeah that's all i want to say have comfortable shoes have snacks for days keep yourself hydrated stay alert um have a backup plan have a backup charger stay alert bro stay alert stay alert stay alert anything can happen at any moment and these people out here be weird and i'm talking big time weird so stay alert um and what else yeah that's it um that's it for right now if you guys have any questions you could comment them in the question comment box below whatever you know what i'm trying to say right i feel like you understand me at this point because we both know i'm slow we know i'm slow ain't ain't no it's buts or ends i'm slow the immigration be coming out of me at any moment well but for real y'all thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you um got the tips if you were looking for them um if you weren't looking for them but you got them anyways yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching tell a friend to tell a friend that i got a youtube channel and i need all y'all to tune in please make sure to tell your uncle your daddy your uncle daddy daddy all of them people i got a youtube channel okay um i gotta go y'all i gotta go for real for real please go go watch the amazon video if you want to know more about like ins and out of amazon or if you want to know like you know you know the vibe you feel the vibe all right boom thank you see you guys in the next video we dropping bangers after bangers if that's it we coming hard or oh, we're not coming at all if that's it i don't like oh i don't have it i thought i had the white thing by my lift when i was talking just that's a dub that's a dub but yeah guys stay tuned I, mm, Oh, I'm starting this new thing where I'm picking a comment of the week or the, of the video and I'm posting it in the next video. So if you want to be featured in the next video or like a shout out, that's what I'm going to start to do now. Yeah. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.